And this morning, we are assessing the damage from the first round of storms across California. From Long Beach to Stockton, rain is causing trouble for communities across the Golden State. And inches and inches of snow coming down all over the mountains of California from the San Bernardino area to El Dorado County. Skiers and snowboarders taking advantage of the conditions. And then there's another storm that's on the way as well. Well, the first storm already proved it's dangerous. State safety officials responded to several crashes on highways. And in Sacramento, one kayaker is in critical condition after capsizing from the fast moving Sacramento River. So right now, those conditions much calmer at this particular moment. You're looking live at downtown Sacramento over the Golden One Center and of course up in Truckee where it's coming down right now. All right, we set the table. It's 5.30 on the, on the nose. Welcome back to ABC 10 Morning News as we continue our storm watch coverage for you right now. I'm Walt Gray. And I'm Bria Love. We are forecasting more rain and snow in the coming days, and we want to get you ready for whatever is to come and also give you a look at how things are right now. Our storm watch team is bringing you the latest this morning. Meteorologist Rob Carlmark and Jordan Tolbert are tracking these minute-by-minute -minute changes in our weather and traffic departments. And our Conchetta Callahan's in the Sierra this morning as more snow has started to fall in the last hour. But first, our Bridget Biorlo bringing us the latest from the Valley. Bridget, good morning. Hey, good morning, Abria and Walt. Yes, we've been talking a lot about the rain and the snow system that has come. The next one that's coming our way and the combination of the rain and the snow melt that's coming downstream into our local waterways is causing rivers to rise here at the Tower Bridge. We have the Sacramento River running underneath it. Uh, this river has already risen several feet. It's expected to climb another 10 feet between now and Wednesday, so get ready for that. And as the water changes, so do the hazards. This is important when we're talking about a faster and stronger current. We're talking about debris in the water like tree limbs, branches uh, that could get you in a lot of trouble if you're in the water. And in general, we're already seeing some problems on the water. Yesterday alone, a man had to be rescued after his kayak capsized. That man is in critical condition and first responders are warning that more of those water rescues are likely in the days ahead as the water levels continue to rise and get more treacherous. Watermen might know the, the currents and how they shift with these high water uh, levels and the colder water that can change things quite a bit. And, uh, and, and if they're not cautious and they're not wary, it can result in fatality. And the message is this is just not the time to get near the water. It's just not safe enough and it's not raining now. You might think we're in the clear, but not so fast because consider all the snow that is melting from the Sierra coming downstream through our local creeks and valleys and rivers. And then what happens is the water levels rise from there. So uh, I want to bring in Rob for a second mm -hmm. because we're talking about these dangerous uh, water levels and that's true, but there is a bright spot in all this when we talk about our drought forecast. I mean, this has to be a much needed rain system, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's basically keeping us exactly where we need to be. Right. So let's just go ahead and bring in the drought monitor, drought monitor, which by the way, did see a slight change because of how the season's been unfolding so far. So first up is what you're looking at is drought free conditions for all of California. We're basically living off some of the good news from last year, although it was very busy with lots of rain and snow. It certainly did end the drought for us. But see the yellow in the Sierra? That's something called abnormally dry. And that's because with the snowpack, that's not where we want it to be right now. It was starting to slip a little bit. But with many more feet of snow on the way today and then a break on Saturday and many more going into next week, I expect that to disappear in the days ahead. With that said, we're getting snow right now. So we're getting exactly what we need now. Uh, as Bridget was pointing out, not raining in Sacramento, but folks, it's raining in spotty locations basically everywhere else, and that's going to be the case for today. You've got to plan on the nature of the rain today. It's going to be mostly not raining, but with the possibility of a few random showers here, there, and some downpours. Now, once you get to some elevation changes, the foothills and the Sierra, it becomes a little bit more consistent. A difference between rain and snow is going to happen right around 5,000 feet today with that snow level dropping with a much colder storm going into next week. But right now, we're looking at a right, right around 5,000 feet. Temperatures are in the 40s down low, the 20s up high, and we're going to have on and off showers today 
with the possibility of thunderstorms. Now, we saw a few of those yesterday. We could see a few more uh, of those today, and we're going to see continued snow. Now, when you add everything up from sunrise to sunset, and by the way, at the end of today, the snowfall rates could actually intensify. We're looking at grand total 6 to 12 inches of snow. That's legitimate. And remember, on a Friday, going into the Sierra, some people looking at the snow forecast wanting to get up there. It's snowing today, and it's definitely going to be snowing later on when most people are hitting the road, say, after work. So watch out for that. We're going to get more for this upcoming weekend between Sunday and Saturday. There's a big difference. Saturday, I think we're mostly quiet. On Sunday, though, a big day of rain and snow. Now, Jordan, uh, again, we're talking together about this because weather and traffic are so closely related. You right. saw a lot of issues yesterday right mm -hmm. as it was raining. What are you seeing today? Yeah, so today things are actually quieter in the valley, but up in the Sierra, we definitely do have some snow coming down. We have chain controls in effect. This is at Twin Bridges along Highway 50 in El Dorado County. You can see that snow sticking to the roadway. I've been seeing some cars driving by, so have those chains or four-wheel drive with snow tires on all four wheels there. You can see through the valley spots, we have a lot of green on our map. This time yesterday morning, it looked a lot different. We had a major backup on I-5 and a few other crashes as well. Reports of spinouts today is a little bit quieter traffic-wise. We do have a crash southbound 99 in Wilson Way this morning. This is in the Stockton area. However, no major delays as a result of that. And I do want to talk about chain controls. We also have them on all of our mountain highways here. 80, 50, 88, 4, 108. So if you're driving up toward Bear Valley, maybe you're going skiing or, uh, you know, going to enjoy the snow up by Kirkwood, you're definitely going to need chain controls for those as well. Now on Highway 50, we have chain controls from Sand Flat to Myers. And then on Interstate 80, we have those chain controls Drum Four Bay to Donner Lake Interchange. And actually, that's where our Conchetta Callahan is. She's stationed along Interstate 80 near Nyack. So earlier she was mm -hmm. saying it seemed like there was an on and off switch for the snow. So Conchetta, <laughs> where are we at right now? <laughs> Uh, Jordan, take a look at my jacket. <laughs> we are on the on switch. It's like the weather gods just turned it on for this. I want to give you a look. Just take a look at the snow as it is coming down against this dark early sky. It's just magnificently beautiful. And you can see the cars coming down this Nyack exit. You see we have a tractor trailer here hauling. We have a car. And like you mentioned, Jordan, we did learn within the hour that Caltrans has issued chain controls. So they are along Interstate 80 at Drum 4 Bay to Donner Lake Interchange. And so you can see as the tires are going along the road, they're driving through about an inch to two inches of snow. I spoke to the attendant inside this Shell gas station where we're posted up because it's nice and lit and it's safe here. Uh, he told me that the plow has not yet been through here. As you can see, it's still very snowy here on the pavement. Uh, we have seen a car come through and kind of do wheelies and donuts. I don't know if you can see the marks over there around the corner. Uh, do not recommend that. It did scare my photographer and I a little bit. But yeah, he was having a little fun in the snow. And we had the attendant out here also icing the sidewalk so people don't slip as they come in and out of the store. Oh, and there's the car. We'll see if he gives us a little show again. Hopefully not because more cars are coming in. But you can really see the snow is coming down. And like Rob said, this is something that will progressively continue to get heavier as we go throughout the day. Another storm is expected to hit, as Rob said, on Sunday. So you'll have no problem getting up the mountain. Let me show you what it looked like as we were coming up. We did take some video of our drive. It was rainy. You know, Bridget said that it wasn't raining there in Sacramento, but as we were leaving and we were going further up Interstate 80, you can see the rain is pretty heavy. Our wipers were on full blast and then we got to the snow and it was snowing really, really hard. You can see it is really snowing out here. So just be careful. Uh, Rob told me before our newscast that this will probably be the easiest drive that you'll do coming up to the Sierra and 
you'll really worry about Sunday leaving. So if you have plans to come up here for the weekend, know that today is likely the day that you'll be able to get up here, enjoy the sled grounds and the parks and have a good time. But you're going to want to stay up here and be safe because that storm, as Rob has been warning us, is coming on Sunday. It is bringing lots of rain and it is bringing lots of snow yeah. and the snow is here. Yeah. Walt, Bria. All right, Conchetta, who used to do some uh, a lot of hits for the Weather Channel, knows about this stuff. And again, that's Nyack is a very popular spot. There have mm -hmm. been people who have been stuck there for a day or two right. because they closed the road. So, Conchetta, thank you. She is mm -hmm. safely at that uh, very popular Shell station. We want to remind you, more rain is in the forecast for the weekend. But when? Well, if you download the free ABC 10 app to stay in the know, you'll know. Uh, about any weather changes. And don't forget, once you do that, turn on notifications.